Good afternoon, my dear students. I am Dr. Ananilakshmi Sandeep here with new topic from community medicine, iceberg phenomenon of disease. Prob probably you might have heard of this topic in the first few chapters of your textbook. And uh, it could be also the part of a chapter on screening or in health and disease. So I would like to explain the iceberg phenomena of a disease under following headings. First is introduction, comparison of a iceberg to iceberg uh, of disease, considering it as a concept, like what part suits what part. And let us see what part of iceberg explains you which part of the disease. And finally, the iceberg phenomenon of a disease in whole. So first let me show you what is an iceberg. See here all of you might have watched one famous English movie Titanic and you know that there is a big ship which goes and hits into a iceberg which was not seen fully. So they thought it is a small one looking at the tip of it but it was so big that it could crash the whole ship down and here as you can see in the picture this is the iceberg so i hope all of you can see that what you see to the external world is only this much but almost more than three foot of it is submerged into the ocean or the sea so here you can see that what you see is not real so the tip of the iceberg is this much but the maj majority of it is submerged inside. So why, var why are we taking this iceberg into consideration to explain and disease? Come, let's see it in the next slide. So can you see that here there is a normal iceberg and here there is its comparison to the disease state. See here, this is the tip of the iceberg and here you can see the tip of this uh, imaginary lines too where if you look into the disease burden, you can see that you can see the deaths which are occurring due to particular disease or group of diseases. You can see the visible cases here which manifest with some symptom or some sign and the clinical illness which you find as physician. So this is what you see. But you think this is only the part of disease? Never. There are many more things which are left unexplored like in case of iceberg. So if you look into the iceberg, around three fourth of it is submerged inside. Similarly, the burden of the disease is also submerged. So what are these things? They are nothing but invisible cases. Means the cases without any signs, without any symptoms and carrier state of a disease. You might, are, uh, you might be aware of one famous incident in a, a typhoid outbreak where there was a lady called Typhoid Mary and what happened later, you know it. So she was actually a carrier of a typhoid uh, disease and it is actually an invisible case because it is the carrier state. So when you look into the death or illness or signs, symptoms and visible cases, we should not come to a conclusion that, oh, this is just the, th th that's all the burden of the disease. You should consider that there are also many other things which are left unattended. Nothing but the carrier state of a uh, disease or the cases which are still or yet to manifest with some symptoms or signs. So the submerged portion is the one which is actual challenge for us to deal. So if you take um, consideration of this iceberg phenomenon of the disease, now you might be wondering why you should know all this. That is because to know where to apply screening tests. See, we have diagnostic tests and we have screening tests. When a patient walks to your OPD with some signs and symptoms, you will order few tests and you to in order to diagnose some case. But when you go to a population to conduct a mass camp or high risk uh, testing and all, what are you going to do? There you are applying one test or group of tests to large number of population and you are going to identify the cases. Now why do you require a screening test when you have diagnostic test? See usually we do this diagnostic test only for the cases which are visible in nature mean to tell they will manifest with some signs and symptoms for example if somebody comes to 
you with polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia and all, you will definitely think of diabetes. If somebody comes to you with the giddiness, headache, blurring of vision, etc., you will definitely think of checking for their BP because you would uh, think of hypertension as a diagnosis in your mind. So you are applying that particular test for a particular person in order to diagnose the disease. But are you really doing this test for each and everyone who come to your OPD? No. But there could be few people who do not suffer from polyphagia, polydipsia or polyphagia still have got diabetes. For example, they have family history of diabetes. They are the potential cases to develop diabetes in their life. So it means that they are the hidden cases of the community who require screening test. And for example, if you take TB into consideration, few of them can manifest with cough for more than two weeks, sputum for more than two weeks, hemoptysis, chest pain, loss of body weight, loss of appetite and many other features. And when they have these features, you do sputum test for them, AFB staining etc. to diagnose. But there are people who are exposed to this for in case, uh, if instance, uh, for instance, if they are positive case of pulmonary tuberculosis, if people are exposed to these cases, even if they do not have symptom, still you do screening test for them. Like in children, you do want to test, you also do a gastric lavage if they are very small and not able to get sputum outside. And if they are uh, like a little big people, you can also do sputum test on them for AFP staining. So you are doing as a part of screening and not as a part of diagnostic test. So that's the importance of knowing iceberg phenomenon of a disease. So where do you apply screening test in this iceberg? Yes, as you are already aware now, iceberg tip part is the one which is seen so no screening test is required for this just the diagnostic test or sometimes even the diagnostic tests are not required just looking at the signs and symptoms you can come into con conclusion but for this hidden part what we cannot see for this part we need to apply screening test and we need to identify the cases so in simple terms if I have to tell you the upper part of this which is called as the tip of the iceberg which is similar to that of the tip of the normal iceberg this is what the physician sees and what is hidden inside that is the three-fourth of it is what the physician cannot see so what cannot see is more than what can be seen so it is very very important for us to see to it that we identify this lower part why because when you identify this you can see to it that you are going to prevent these people who are in this lower three-fourth zone getting converted into upper one-fourth zone carrier can become a case later or it can give many cases later or asymptomatic can in infection can turn into symptomatic infection so if you apply some screening test or if you identify it in any manner in the uh, among these cases of a hidden one you can definitely be uh, potential enough to bring down the mortality and morbidity in any disease for that if you take into consideration now the floating tip is the one which shows you symptomatic, apparent and diagnosed case. Line of demarcation is the one, nothing but a separation between apparent and inapparent case. Submerged portion is the one which is asymptomatic, inapparent, undiagnosed, carrier and latent phase. So let me summarize with the help of COVID-19, your favorite uh, in recent days, uh, taking as example of it. See. The diagnosed cases of COVID-19 are only this much, around one-fourth, but around three-fourths are hidden inside because they could be like misdiagnosed as some other case, say some other pneumonia or some other flu fever like that, or they are left undiagnosed because people get scared to go to centers and get checked. Then subclinical cases, they are yet to manifest with few symptoms, asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic cases, they do not have any cough cold, sore throat, loose tools, vomiting or any other symptom but still they are the cases of corona or COVID-19 because they are, they are asymptomatic they wouldn't have gone for testing so they remain undetected. The last but not the least is the susceptible population. So iceberg phenomenon of a disease is very important 
to be known to each and every physician to apply the screening test and also to identify the submerged portion of iceberg okay so with this i would complete iceberg phenomenon of the disease thank you